Students return to the classroom this week and teachers are preparing to welcome them. And for many, it's their second career. News Channel 10, Sydney Badislav joins us now. Sydney, how is that helping with the current teacher shortage? Greg Lindsay, Region 16 says districts have been hit hard by teacher retirements and a lack of college graduates majoring in education, all leading to a shortage of teachers. Many districts are looking outside the box to fill positions such as hiring second career teachers. I previously served for 25 years in the United States military. I was a graphic designer. I've worked in the field of graphic design for um, over 20 years. Previously served 25 years in the Army. Three different backgrounds, all leading to becoming a teacher, bringing real life experiences to the classroom. I'm able to apply what I've known and what I know, something I'm for sure have a, a, a mastery of, and be fulfilled doing it because I'm giving it to somebody else. It's not going to end with me. It's going to go on to, to somebody else who gets to use it in the future. Both Mr. Ziegler and Mr. Stimson bring skills they developed in the military. Creating that, that family atmosphere really is, is what it the skill that I kind of brought over. Um, a squad, a team has to be, has to be a family. I, I know everybody that is assigned to me and hopefully I know the students the same way that I knew my soldiers. I also got to do um, psychological operations in the Army, so that aspect of it has helped me empathize with, you know, the psychological state that they're in and their development and everything. So um, I get to use some of that. I asked all three teachers, what's the most rewarding part of being a teacher? They all gave me the same answer, that seeing students progress and watching the light bulb come on. Back to you.